Uh, Sean, have you talked to uh, Rod? Uh, how's he doing on his vacation? Uh, Rod is social distancing in uh, Mexico. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's in. I think he's in Cancun and Acapulco. Cancun. <laughs> Rod likes to work the uh, hotels down there. There's quite a few, um, quite a few young ladies that uh, wander around looking for action. They, they for, like the Rod. For Rod. Yeah, they like Rod. <laughs> you know what I, I think he did is he took the uh, the vacation to uh, Puerto Vallarta that nobody won in the magic number. <laughs> He probably did, Jason. Yeah. You know, that's hurting Jason, that's hurting our finances. We we have a lot nice. of money invested in this organization. We purchased um, this vacation and then Rod said there were no winners and it would right. expire. He's just gone. Sound sounds yes, like something Rod would do. Yeah, so he's down yeah. there and we had a drink pass. Oh. We had um free parasailing and snorkeling. <laughs> And and a use of a boat. There was yeah. like a sp speedboat involved, and um, and Rod's like, if uh, due to the flight restrictions, how did he get a flight down there? I know, <laughs> he's got connections. I guess there are still Mexico's still open, or and um, to Americans, and uh, Rod's down there enjoying the trip. He is all on uh, Mr. Crowther's dime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, exactly. Think, uh, well, welcome everybody. Welcome to Earth. Yes, you can see welcome our, to Earth. <laughs> our background is the Earth. Yes, right in Fuga back of me here. <laughs> the Fugazi guys live on Earth. We live on Earth. Although, although uh, round, some although people might not rounded, say we are Earthlings because of our content, but <laughs> we are Earthlings. We are Earthlings. <laughs> and because the Earth is round, COVID sticks to it perfectly. Earth is round. Cover, uh, COVID's round. That's right. COVID yes. has that round, round. Pul COVID's pulsating. Though. Pulsating. Like, special shout out to our new fans, the Narwhals. Oh who yes. are watching from uh, the Arctic. Um, <laughs> some Eskimos set up a uh, 4K uh, TV for them. Nice. They're swimming around in a hole with their swords out and like looking at our show, going, uh, "What? What? What is Fugazi? What is Fugazi?" And then they, their their horns are like always hitting each other. <laughs> Shout out to with the their horns. Shout out to the unicorns of Shout the, out hey, the unicorns. They're always like, hey, stop that hey. with that horn. Like, hey, hey, watch hey. that there. <laughs> <laughs> I think their bodies are just like large blubber with like all kinds of pot marks from them constantly stabbing I think each other. So. <laughs> yeah, so on a normal date, you got like the male narwhal like coming up and behind the female, and she's like, hey, Ooh, hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> Hey, that's not... Watch what you're doing with that thing there, <laughs> mister. <laughs> hey, buy me a hey. drink first. Hey, would you get me a drink first? Hey, come on. where can a narwhal get a drink around here? <laughs> <laughs> what a nar narwhal's... Uh, I'll take a, uh, a martini uh, shaken uh, yeah. uh, with a s couple sardines in it, please. <laughs> uh, how about some sake? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Mr. Kimono. Kimono's here. Uh, the pleasure to be here. To fit in for Rod. Oh, thank you, Kimono. Yes. So, did you get the uh, script that we sent you, Mr. Kimono? Uh, I got it right here. It's right here. How you doing, Sean? Oh, Mr. Kimono, very well. Good to, good to have you on the show. Uh, good to be here, Sean. Uh, uh, fit it in for the Rod. Okay, that's that works. <laughs> All uh, right, so you know, he's a bit of a philanderer, and uh, yeah, so it's good to have a good man here. Uh, uh, I, uh, unfortunately, I teach him all my ways. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh that, that explains some stuff, Mister Kimono. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, did you want to get right into it, uh, Mister Kimono? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, that's it. Fredericks and uh Yes, yes, so Center is a Fugazi show. Yeah, yeah. With the stunned uh Shut Up McDead and Jason P Oh uh, what? Uh <laughs> What'd he say? Uh, what, what, what was that again, uh Mr. Kim Kimono? Uh this uh Shut Up McDead. Yeah, Shana Big Dead. And uh, okay. Jason. P oh, no.
Oh no. Oh man. He, he butchered uh, your name. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 Mr. Kimono, you kind of pronounce that wrong. I did not pronounce it wrong. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 what do you mean? What you did, uh, Kimono, it, it sounds like you said the derogatory term in English for the female, uh, uh, oh, gente, oh, that's so, so, so silly. Okay. All right. Uh, let me try it again. Okay. Then, All well, right. Well, let it roll again. Okay. Fred Assassin's Studio in the Fugaville Center. It's a Fugazi show! Hey. Yeah. Started in a Son of Dead and Jason Vajene. Oh, okay, uh, we'll roll with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's better than before. Starting okay, Jason, thank you. Starting Jason Pushy. <laughs> to the Jason Vajene. Oh, look at that. They put it even in the caption. <laughs> <laughs> And a and a special guest, uh, Eddie King. Uh, come on, all head out of me. <laughs> and uh, Stanna Goldman. Uh, Ready Locust. Ready Locust. And uh, first annual Nawal Tedaha. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Mr. Kamal. Oh, thank you very much. And now, the two Fugazi guys are themselves a Jesus show. Hey. hey. Excellent, Kimono. <laughs> All righty. It you is a woozy. It is a woozy. It's a woozy. Oh. And uh, welcome to uh, a possible... Uh, generations of all, uh, be it uh, be it you're a boomer or an Xer like us or a millennial. Yeah, we love everyone. Everyone. <laughs> Remember, when it comes down to f uh, Fuguazi or Fugazi, what matters? What matters? Nothing. Doesn't matter what. Nothing we you say. Are. <laughs> yeah, nothing matters really. Yeah, it's all Fugazi. Yeah, it's made up. It's a breeze. It's in the air. Yeah. And uh, we know somebody who uh, is very excited about bridging the generational gaps here. This man has lived so long oh. <laughs> that we don't even think he's real. Uh, he, I think we got... I don't think uh, it's actually Larry King. I think it's the Larry King 3000. Jason, I think you're right. I think he's like an ether representation of the original Larry King, who only started his career like... Uh, 70 years ago at yeah. the age of 40 something so he's in the hundreds i don't even know i don't think he's oh, alive anymore I, I don't think so i think we got some sort of larry king simulation uh why don't we ask him all right let's all right go talk to uh, larry mr king thank you for joining us jason how are you jason yeah <laughs> oh you okay there well i got well i got this is larry king here larry king yeah right. thank you for joining us I'm currently on the Farm Network. I don't even know how. The I got farm, on the farm Network. Network. Oh. My manager is Sean. She's uh, she's my ex-wife. Oh, you're back with Sean now. No, I wouldn't say back with her. She sort oh. of got me in a legal dispute, and uh, so basically, any money I make goes directly to her and our children. I don't. I don't think they're my children, even. But oh, uh, yeah. Especially if you're uh, if you're Larry uh, three thousand now. Uh, Larry 3000, uh, well, you know, I've had so many surgeries, I don't know where Larry the original starts and Larry 3000 <laughs> there, is, There's nothing but... left of the original, I guess. All I know is I wake up every day and I seem to be in suspenders and I have glasses on. You, you do and, seem uh, to have that outfit a lot. And I have, I put my arm forward over a mic and I'm like, we're gonna, we're coming right back. Uh, stay tuned for our next uh, uh, um, announcer, our next uh, promotion, and then like a Kellogg's ad comes on, or or Metamucil. I don't even know where I am. I, I, Metamucil I if, sounds pretty appropriate for your uh, I don't your even line know of... if I eat anymore. I just I'm just here. I I look down. I see glasses and a suspender and a poorly pressed shirt, and um, my body cavity is shrinking so much. That the shirt gets like lines down the shirt that go in. If I look, I I don't even know. I think maybe my shoulders are a hanger. Oh really? I'm actually, 
I might actually just be a webcam. I may <laughs> actually be just a brain figmentation and a webcam that looks down at my chest. Wow. And then I've got like a computer image of my of my hair and my face. So Russia today is a little more advanced than we thought here in America. Yes, I think I might be in a board collective as just a pot on a wall, and um, I'm the current guest. Oh, similar to the coronavirus that we just interviewed uh, in the last episode. Yeah, I, I have, I might, I don't even know if I have corona, or I might be actually a corona. Oh, man. I might be the Larry King... Uh, coronavirus. Wow, so you could be the next evolution of the coronavirus where where it's t- taken uh, human form. That is true, Jason. I think Larry King is the next... That's me, of course. I always speak of myself in third, <laughs> third person. <laughs> Larry, Larry, Larry King might actually be a virus and it's a horrible virus because I'm like I'm the I might be corona 20 coming up. Oh corona my goodness. 21. <laughs> a sentient version of the virus that has arms and legs and oh man the human uh, uh species <laughs> is in oh <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> you, sounds like you got some corona yourself corona has stricken corona i think i'm just i'm just the symptoms of what you'll have when you get the larry king corona i think so you'll constantly hack up lem co- phlegm cookies <laughs> and uh, what I think is like sometimes I cough these things up and it, it comes out it's like I think it's a piece of bone it might actually be a bone from oh my, my chest goodness. cavity oh or a piece like of a bagel cage, like a part of my rib cage just gets flung up through my throat oh man I don't even know if I have a throat I think what, I think what's <laughs> happening is like my whole torso gets shooken up and particles of it just fly through the air <laughs> And I, I just see it, and I think it's coming out of my mouth. So. Wow. <laughs> wow, you're literally uh, deteriorating right before us. If I am the next version of the virus, um, the the time that people will be spending in the bathroom is going to be a lot. I, I would say so. And, uh, ooh. <laughs> I don't even wipe anymore. I don't even know what's coming out. <laughs> Do you even have anything to wipe uh, is the question. I don't think I do. I think what's just happening is other body sections are just falling out the bottom. Oh my goodness! So I'm. I don't. I don't think I'm eating even. I. I just think things are just. I'm being somehow elevated in physical physical um, status. I'm either hung on a wall, or my arms are resting over a hanger. I do not know. It really but, does sound like the Star Trek Borg Collective that you're part of. Yes, but I'm I'm just decaying and falling apart as I'm as I'm here. Oh man, so so they need to give you another upgrade then. Yeah, I think maybe I need to become the four thousand. Maybe that's the <laughs> time. Maybe they're just going to suck my mind right out of me here. Oh and man, put it in the four thousand. The four thousand has to be something mechanical because I am I'm deteriorating so fast now that oh. and nothing's working. Nothing seems to be working anymore. But I'm still able to do riveting um, interviews. Yes, I was just going to say, uh, before they upgrade you to the 4,000, maybe we should get one last interview uh, uh, in with the 3,000, and we know this just could, who yeah. to Jason, this could for be my, my last living day. This could <laughs> be your swan song, and yes, uh, we're going to make it a good one. Yes, I want to talk to Mr. Kimono. Yes, and he wants to talk to you, too. Uh, Excellent. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Kimono. And I thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. King. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Kimono. I just I, I had to interview. This could be my last interview. I'm near death. Oh, uh, so sorry. Uh, no, yes, uh, we'll try to make a good one. Okay, uh, Mr. Kimono, how are you so successful? You you've been able to like live sixty some odd years. And you're thriving Komodo yes, business. 63 years. 63. 63 years, yes. How are you... Do you hand sew all your kimonos? Hand sew all kimonos. All, all he, uh, kimonos are handcrafted. Very wonderful. You know, no no one wants to do anything by hand anymore. We want it to be arrived from China. Yes, the other day I was talking to uh, Meridia. Meridia? Is that how you say? Oh, a millennial. Yeah, that yes, yes. Right. His name was Chad. 
Oh, yeah, you know, I, I heard that interview. It was very good. Yes, uh, he wanted uh, to do automated soda machine. Oh, an automated sewing machine. Is that possible, sir? Uh, it is possible. I don't know, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I can imagine he probably wanted an application because they really don't do anything without apps. Oh, yes, 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 there's an app for that. Mr. Kimono, how were you able to get a loan for your uh, business? Uh, no loan needed. Uh, uh, we we be very profitable. So you, you're like an entrepreneur? You actually yes, saved, uh, but, uh, but, uh, you, you saved money and built a, fran a beautiful business out of... Uh, yeah, that's that's yes. riveting, Mr. Kimono. I oh, thank you. Yes, yes. Everybody needs a loan now these days. Uh, I, I built it from ground up. <laughs> Ground up? You mean you got, you actually, you did manual, I've never done manual labor my whole life. I think oh, I'm really hung up on a wall right now. So oh, no. Know. How did you do manual labor? Do you, how, are you, do you have calluses uh, on your hands? Very, uh, in Japan, we very disciplined. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, that that's something in America we can't do. We're not. Oh, we yes. Get, like, uh, everything needs to be yesterday. Do you have how how is it you're able to uh, do these old fashioned uh, techniques and uh, and the geishas? What? Oh, the geishas? yeah, the geishas. We love the geishas. Yes. Do they do they please men or what? What's their? Oh, function? they please uh, please men. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, they please the kimono a lot. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's nice, Mister Kimono. Yeah. Yes, I said one your way. How about the sewing machines? Do they run the sewing machines, the geishas? Oh, yes. Uh, whenever they don't have, uh, uh, how you would say, maybe the business going, uh, they, they're on the sewing machines. Mr. Kimono, are they slaves? Do you have slaves? Oh, no, 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 no slaves. Uh, they leave whenever they want to. And they're beautiful young women that just sit there sewing? Beautiful. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, very beautiful. This might be the best business plan I've ever heard. Oh, yes. Very successful. Uh, I am a trillionaire in Japan. Trillionaire! Oh my God! Yes. Um, uh, uh, hold hold on a second. I got I got a call coming in here. Okay. Uh, Who's is it it Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Mister Sorrow said he wants to give you a loan. The Sorrow? Oh. Yes, Mister Sorrow. Mr. Soros on the phone. He's watching the show. He says you need loans. Oh, no, no. It's, uh, uh, I have run in with uh, Soto before. Yes, he says he he, uh, he he can't seem to get you to take loans, but he wants to he wants to make a, uh, a marketing franchise out of your kimono business. Oh, no, no, no. Kimono exclusive. That does not work for him, according to Mr. Soros. Oh, so sorry. Tell, tell Soto I'm so sorry. He hung up. Oh, yes, yes. He knew that. must know him well. He seems to. No one ever calls into my uh, my studio here. I don't even know how he got my number. Yes, yes. It's a very confusing. Uh, 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 good thing you don't see him because uh, he tried to moon you. <laughs> well, I'm not really very sexually active, so I don't even think that would affect me much. Here. Oh, so uh, sad a king. I'm more like uh, intellectual vapor. Oh, we send Gisha your way, uh, try to, uh, fix that. Oh, no worries, no worries. In fact, I think she would just be disappointed if you wasting money, so. Oh, so sorry. Okay, was it? Okay, did you to call? Okay, I did 4,000, okay. Uh, she says she, uh, wait for 4,000. Okay, yeah, he may, he may have appendages, that's... <laughs> working appendages, yeah, that's, in, that's usually required for a good time, so. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, you get something better attached. Yeah, I'm gonna go for something bionic. <laughs> oh, 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 she like of that. She like of that. <laughs> yeah, well, the Larry King 3000 is, uh, oh god, a leg just fell off me. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you come over to Japan, we sew it back on for you. There's rats eating my leg, I don't think I'll be able oh, to Oh, no. It. Okay. Uh, we have special kimono that will, uh, act as leg for you. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, uh, Mr. This has been a Business Insider uh, interview with Mr. K uh, Komodo, the owner and manager of Komodo's uh, Komodo's and and uh, Rentagisha. Oh uh, yes, uh, Rentagisha. Yes, uh, 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 no money down, pay at the end. Yes, it's very good. 
Uh, Mr. Kimono, thank, congratulations on your success. I'm pretty sure any young person right now won't be able to um, do what Mr. Kimono's done because obviously he's a man of discipline and yes. we do not have we have no discipline less. If no it doesn't, discipline. If it or doesn't arrive in an hour on your phone from your phone, it doesn't get done here anymore. That's right. It takes lots of discipline to become a uh, disco samurai. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, sta -da -da -da, sta -da -da -da. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Komodo. We're going to end that here. Oh, thank you, Mr. See, King. See you some other time. Indeed, Mr. King. Wow. <laughs> that was good, Jason. That was. Uh, uh, we we uh, had a good interview, I think, uh, with uh, Mr. King and Mr. Komodo. And I think there's some funny stuff in there. I think so, and uh, we will be right back. Yep. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, we are headed back to our roots here on the Fugazi Show. And, <laughs> oh, it sounds like our guest is here already. It's Stan. He's going to do an animal sound off with us. Uh, thank you for joining us, Stan. Uh, let me see if I can bring you up here on the screen. Animal. Okay. Hello, Stan. We're looking right at you. Hey, hey, Jason. How's it going? Yeah. Good. I'm here over at the UK. My wife and I are taking a vacation. The UK? <laughs> oh, my goodness. The weather's not great. It's kind of damp and... Yeah, I... I... <laughs> yeah. No, no, I don't... No, put oh, that away. Good. I don't I don't need the Ben Gay. It's in my throat. Uh, Ben's what? Ben, the ben... No, it's not... I don't need that. It's not... It's not there. It's in my... I need a cough drop. Uh, we may need that's to my, sorry, that's send my wife. some cough yeah. drops over there. Uh, that, that's my wife. So, yeah, we got a, a thriving interview today, Jason, <laughs> with, uh, um, well, the the well, the plague and uh, floods and locusts. So locusts. We, we actually got an interview with a, some, a locust representative of the 10 trillion locusts is now currently consuming all of China. Oh, my goodness, Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people in China, uh, uh, so I, I imagine they're very concerned with this. Yeah, well, when the locusts move into your neighborhood, it's it's never a good thing, Jason. No. So this is Stan reporting for Fugazi News. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go right to uh, Larry the Locust. Larry the uh, Locust, okay. Uh, thank you for joining us, Larry. Yeah, thank you. It's great to be here in China. Larry, where'd you come from? Hey, Stan, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Good to talk to you, my friend. Oh, good to be here. Yeah, I, I, I'm i muy simpatico with the locusts. I like to travel around myself and, and basically inundate any place I go. Oh, yeah, we like to travel, too. Uh, uh, it's hard to tell uh, all of us from one, one another because we all look alike, you know? Yeah. yeah I'm not even sure. I, yeah. Sometimes I could be looking at myself and not even know it. <laughs> Well, you, that's that's got to be scary. You're looking at yourself. You guys have yeah. mirrors. I didn't realize you had mirrors. Oh yeah, yeah. I get scared every time I look in the mirror. Well, you know, I see. I've seen pictures of you guys flying around. It's like a cloud. It's like a. It's just like a a giant big swarm, swarm. right? Yeah. Yeah. What What do you guys do for housing when you land in a new country? What where, where do you go live? Uh we live in a tree or a bush or something. Uh, you know that sort of thing. They don't have Air Airbnb there in China? You can't uh, get a nice house or apartment? Uh, they they kind of have this thing about uh, fumigation with Air Airbnb. Uh, it doesn't quite work out for us. Oh, well, that's not good. No. Uh, yeah. Do you... Uh, do, locust, well, that fumigation's bad. You don't get corona, do you? No? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I might uh, have a little bit myself there. Uh, no, that's not good. Yeah. Locust is getting corona. Yeah. Well, when you land in another country, you got to have a living. Or what do you do for work, you guys, you locusts? Oh, we mostly roam around. We're, we're nomads. Don't the well, don't the people hate you being there? Yeah, they do. Do they try and kill you? Yeah, all the time. Oh, uh, God. I don't know how. Uh, I'm only a few days old, but I've managed to survive uh, uh, five attempts on my life so far with uh, fly swatter. You're only a f Jesus, you're only a few days old? Yeah. Hoy, and uh, your your English is flawless. I'm uh, very thank impressed. You. I've never I've never heard a 
a locust speak in such uh, with such good English? Uh, I use Rosetta Stone. You have the internet? Locusts have internet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all locusts. Uh, we... We all, it's kind of difficult, you see, because uh, uh, we had to have one uh, locust operating the keyboard, uh, one operating the trackpad, and one watching the screen. So it's kind of a, it's a three locust effort. Who's your provider? Four Concast? Uh, yeah, yeah. We got uh, <laughs> Xfinity, uh, Four Concast. Wow. Uh, so food, you have lots of food out there? You good? Oh, we're, we got plenty of food, uh. We like to eat off some uh, dead bodies every once in a while. It's it's good eating. Whoa. You guys are cannibals. Well, not cannibals. I guess you eat meat then, I guess. Oh, yeah. We order Domino's, too. Domino's? Yeah. To, to Fields? I did not know. What, what address do you give them? Uh, we, uh, it's hard to give them an address. We uh, usually uh, tell them county line somewhere around there. and They just drop the pizza off, and it, it saves us a whole lot of money because you got... Uh, Five million locusts just descending upon one pizza. It saves a ton of money. Jesus, they must not be making any money on you guys. Oh, no, no. I feel sorry for them sometimes. So, uh... Then yeah, I realize part... I'm a locust and I don't really have that emotion. Uh, some of the ladies here at the retirement home are looking at that picture at you. Looking at the picture Oh, of I'm there, looking at there. them, too. Here's looking at you. Mm, they're kind of turned on. They want to know what your dating situation is. Uh... Being that I'm only five year, five days old, I almost said years. I, I should be so lucky to live live even a year. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm actually single at the moment. Uh, my uh, my mate the other day got hit by a fly swatter, so uh, I'm newly single. Wow. Well, yeah, I hear the the lifespan of a, a locust is only like a couple months, and so then you mate and you put eggs down, and then you eat, and then you yeah. You're just eating, shitting, dating machines, aren't you? Oh, we are. We are. We are producing uh, crap at the highest rate. Well, it's good to know you're going to go out with a, a bang. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a big bang, too. Uh, we got that whole uh, Bible thing lined up for the tribulation, you know, so we're kind of waiting on our uh, our orders for that. Well, that's good. What? Wait, wait. Who's your God? Who's your God? Uh, uh It's the big guy. The big JC. Wow. That's, yeah. That's pretty deep. We didn't know yeah. oh, your lifespan's so short. You're fluent in English and you're already, you have a good, you have a, do you have voting? Do you have any elections? What, uh, who runs yeah, we the, vote uh, on a, big, a, a grand, um, uh, a grand loco. Oh, you have a grand loco? Yeah, wow. we have a grand loco. Uh, I was thinking about running, but, uh, you know, I'm starting to get up there in age, you know, I'm only five, I, you know, I'm five days old, so. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, Jesus! Wow, I, I'm almost at midlife here. What What do you guys do for fun during your two month life? Uh, we chase each other. We chase humans. We chase animals. Whole lot of chasing. A lot of and chasing hopping. going on. Hopping. Huh? We wow. we like we like hopping, whether it's beers or just uh, the classic uh, hippity hop. Oh yeah, that must be kind of good if you hop right into a beer, huh? Oh yeah, we uh, hop right into the beer, just get plastered and. Uh, Crawl out, because let's face it, after drinking that much beer, you, you're not doing much hopping. No, well, yeah, that's hopping under the influence is probably uh, looked down upon. Oh, uh, my, my buddy uh, Tom there, he got nailed for uh, hopping under the influence. And then you really, it's difficult to even mate after uh, drinking a beer, so I'm sure if you're that tiny. Oh, yes, yes. It's, uh, it, one, one little droplet will go right to your nervous system. How about Viagra? Do they have Viagra for uh, locusts? Those damn bastards! They haven't made a pill for us yet. Well, I'll I'll get to work on that. I know people. In the oh, drug thank industry. you, Stan. Thank you. Uh, hey. How will you pay? We always have to find out how people are going to pay. Uh, we use uh, Venmo. Venmo. Wow. Yes. Yes. Wow, uh, well, and if that doesn't work, we have a, a, a locust cash app. So you just have a big swarm. So the whole swarm has one digital account. Yes, yes, we all have one uh, giant, uh, I think we're up to $15 billion in our account at the moment. Jesus, you're some yeah, of the richest, like, uh, you're one richer than most people. Locust here. So you just keep going, mating, eating, going, mating, eating, and then once in a while you order from Amazon? That, that's our life right there, Stan, you got it. And how does Amazon deliver to you? They just drop it out of the air? Yeah, they use the drones, and uh, it, it's kind of sad because some of us get caught up in those little propellers there. We lose oh, a few people. Oh, God, the massacre. Sorry yeah, about that. Yeah, it's a massacre. It's 
blood everywhere. Well, maybe you humans don't see the blood everywhere, but uh, we certainly do. Well, it's been it's been very interesting, but I have to go take my back medication. So it's we'll been great it talking to you, and, Stan. Uh, yeah, well, I almost wish I only lived for about uh, two weeks. Seems like it'd be a much nicer lifestyle. Oh really. yes, yes. Uh, uh, we don't have to worry about uh, back pain or pesky grandchildren getting after us like you do. It's it's great. Stan, get off the internet, Stan. Oh, no, oh, is that oh, who God, I think it is? There's my wife. That's, oh. uh, yeah, I gotta go. She's uh, chasing after me with a, a heart pill and uh, oh, a back no. pill. Well, good luck with that, Stan. She's trying to kill me. I, I'd oh. rather, I think I'd rather be killed by a... Do, uh, do you want me to uh, send some of us after her, Stan? That'd be great. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll see if I can offline, of course. get some of them in. Some of my friends in from uh, uh, Nebraska here. I like it. Locus hit squads. I like yes. it. Yes. Yeah, we'll put a contract out on her. Do you guys know the uh, cabinet guys or anything? Uh, cabinet guys, yeah. We're, uh, uh, I, we have some affiliation with them. Oh, yeah. You sound yeah, you ruthless. you pay us off real good. We'll come after somebody. You guys are ruthless, I can tell. Great. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, um, yeah, I'll get to the address. This, this lady's got to go. She's really cramping. I'm 90, but she's cramping my style. No problem, Larry. We're on it. All right, uh, that's it for uh, Larry, um, Stan and Larry the Locust uh, from the from the Fugazi guys. We're out. Excellent. Uh, thank you for joining us, Stan. Oh, no problem there, Jason. And we will be right back. Welcome back. Hello. I am freezing. Sean, how are you doing in uh, Fugaville there? Uh, Jason, I'm good. I know you're up in uh, the Arctic and it's very cold up there, so uh, stay it warm. It's cold, <laughs> yes. but uh, I am uh, making a go of it, Sean. <laughs> Jason is currently at the Narwhal Relief Fund. I don't know if any of you know, but there's a group of uh, about 50 narwhal that are currently... Um, Blocked in by ice, they um, yeah. So we're we're trying to ask for money to save the narwhals. Uh, ca call um, call our relief fund number that you'll see on the screen. Um, uh, uh, oh, did you see it? It just flashed. No, you didn't see oh, it. Oh wow! Okay, there it goes again. Did you oh. see it? That okay? Write that it's down. It's very that's, quick. That's the that. Did you see it? You didn't see it. F okay, it flashed just then. Flash, did you see right. it? Did you catch it? No. No. Call that number. Call it now. And and don't donate with love, with your heart. Narwhal lives matter. They all have COVID, by the way. They're stuck in the ice. They have COVID. And um, they they recently lost their leader. That's why they're locked in this ice. They got lost. And um, and they took a wrong turn. They stopped at a 7-Eleven, asked for directions. That was a problem. <laughs> I think uh, Corey is down in uh, Miami, isn't he? At the moment. Oh, yeah. Well, that that's the problem. The Norwals went to Miami. They were having a party. They were at Trump's Mar-a-Lago. And, um, and then their leader had too much to drink. It, it tried to have sex with a, a manatee. Oh, no. It, it, it bludgeoned the manatee. So a whole bunch of manatee lovers just shot the lead narwhal. And, oh, that's um, terrible. Jason's, uh, yeah, I, I don't need recommend. need to save these narwhals. I don't have, recommend sex between narwhals and manatees. It's no, it not, never uh, works out. I mean, they're both mammals, but it's just uh, some love should be uh, uh, not not taken. Right. But so, uh, our love for our guests uh, continues, doesn't it? It does. Let's. Uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna save the narwhals with uh, some beautiful music and tributes. We have amazing people here today. Jason, who's our first guest? Our first guest uh, coming up. Oh, we love him here on the Fugazi show. Uh, he's a little tipsy today, but uh, I think I, I think he'll work out. Uh, Mr. Kimono. All right, let's go to Mr. Kimono. <laughs> Mr. Kimono, do you know the song by Will Smith, Getting Jiggy With It? You know, da 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 Get the jiggle in there. Ah, kimono. Love, love the kimono. Oh yes. Thank you for joining us, kimono. 
Oh, thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Tipsy with the sake. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Oh, Mr. Komono is going to be <laughs> He's going to be coming in and out of the benefit today. Um, uh, we're going to go right to uh, uh, Bill Clinton. Uh, uh, oh. President Clinton. President Clinton, how are you doing today? Yes, uh, Mr. Uh, President, how are you? Uh, well, um, Jason and Sean, thank you so much. It's so good to be here. Uh, I'm down in Arkansas at the Presidential Library, and uh, uh, I love Mr. Kimono. I love that he's come in and talked. Mr. Oh, Kimono, we love Mr. Kimono. Mr. Kimono, your geishas are the greatest. I, he sent me some geishas. I haven't sent them back. These girls know how to party. Oh, no, sir, the president. Uh, oh, no, you have big bill. Oh, no, no. They, they uh, After the first night, they didn't want to go back, so I, I already paid for one night. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm too drunk for this. Oh. Uh, all, all the single ladies, Mr. Kimono, all the single ladies... All the single ladies. Oh, the single lady. Oh, the single lady. Oh, the single lady. Oh, the single lady. Oh, it's such a fan film. Uh, thank you, President Clinton. Oh, yes. No problem. I got to get back to the girls. It's always about the girls. and I got a little uh, white snow here, if you know what I mean. I oh, my goodness. I like the white I like the blow and the and the girls too. Uh, there's so. plenty of white stuff where I am right now, Mr. President. Oh yeah, well, uh, you know, do what you can, Jason, to save the narwhals. But uh, yeah, I gotta save my soul down here in Arkansas. Oh take my goodness, of, it sounds like you do. <laughs> I gotta take care of all these uh, geishas here for Mr. Komodo. They they uh, they've taken a liking to me. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I, I the, the slick Willie's having a great time. <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Clinton, President Clinton. Appreciate you coming yes, in. Yes, thank you so much. Oh yes, yeah, save the narwhals. Uh, thank you, sir. Save yourself, maybe. Yeah, um, really. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a little too much uh, geisha fun there. It sounds. Yeah, like we're gonna go right, uh, Jason. I, I got, oh, we got a call, and he already donated three hundred. Oh, by the way, the number just flashed on your screen again. You uh -huh. can't call that number. Call it. Money. Call it, everyone. Every, the narwhals need help. Lar Larry King is here, everyone. Larry, Larry King, King, thank you for joining us. <laughs> oh, it's great to be here, Sean. Larry, it's good to have you here. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I was wondering, Larry, have you ever have you have you gone swimming with narwhals before? I'm pretty sure my some of my ex wives were nar narwhals. Oh, that sounds painful. You know, they have that that's long very day. painful. Yeah, did you get stuck by a couple of them? Oh, yeah. I've been stuck, jabbed, uh, javelined, uh, whatever it is, you name it. Uh, uh, that's what I, what's happened to me. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. I think that's how I got this voice. Uh, uh, uh. Well, Larry, what, what do you recommend for the narwhals, Larry? Do you think we should try and save them up in the... I recommend they uh, try to get married to something uh, uh, as young as possible. Should they marry as young as possible, or they should get married in general as young as possible? Uh, both. Okay, that's both. good advice, Larry. I got my uh, now that uh, Sean has left me, uh, I got my eye on uh, Dakota Fanning. Oh, very <laughs> Dakota, Fan Dakota <laughs> Fanning. <laughs> what is she like? Twelve? <laughs> I think so. Uh, she might be twenty-one now. Uh, just reverse the numbers there. Uh, well, good, good, good luck, Larry. I uh, hope you are uh, successful. I think what do you yeah, like, save the narwhals? Uh, uh, uh. Larry King donated. He put a lot of money down. I'm not going to say. Okay, yeah, it was a thousand. Thank you, Larry. Thousand. Appreciate All it. right. Uh, we'll take what save we can the get. Narwhals, uh, everyone. Uh, by the way, Sean, what is our goal for uh, uh, for the narwhals? Jason, uh, to get a naval research festival up in. Uh, on, uh, Antarctic and uh, and to in the Arctic Circle and to try and save the narwhals, it's going to take some um, some people with some big heavy like oh, uh, yes. ice crushing and chainsawing. I think and uh, so we need about uh, yeah, I think a cool uh, one trillion. One trillion, board. okay. Yeah. We'll see uh, if we can uh, do that in today's episode alone. <laughs> <laughs> and if we can't do it, we have a feeling that the government's just going to put it in the stimulus package. Pretty much, so, yeah. Uh, 
Oh, well, that's a million, that's a trillion Canadian dollars. So if Justin uh, Trudeau is listening, open up your damn border. Open and, up uh, your damn border, Trudeau. Yeah, yeah to open up the border, Trudeau. Yeah, otherwise we're going to send uh, Komodo in here, and he, <laughs> he likes that ACDC song. Oh, yes. T TNT, I'm Dynamite. TNT, Dynamite. TNT. Yeah. It sounds like Mr. Komodo is about to explode. <laughs> yes. Thank goodness for our musical entertainment by uh, Mr. Komodo. I know he's really yeah. helping the uh, send money now, folks. Come yes, on, get it please. Here. Uh, right the to the normals. number below. There it goes. My goodness. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um... We, so Larry's jumped in. Um, we've got oh, uh, we're Jason. Um, I yeah. think you have uh, Corey Covid's coming in. Corey today. Covid is joining us. He's joining us again. Uh, thank you for joining us, Co Corey. Yes, Jason. It's it's so nice to be here to save the narwhals. I the narwhal is an animal that we are mammal that we just uh, the coronavirus doesn't infect. Oh well, um, that's a good thing. The blubber is so thick and they live in the ocean. The coronavirus can cross the ocean. We we can swim. But we avoid the narwhal because um, they have a thick layer of blubber and we can never penetrate it. So like seals, walruses, narwhals, whales, uh, dolph well, dolphins are mainly mussel. But um, yeah, we just we can't we can't hurt them. So we leave them. They're all alone. impervious to your uh, um, your uh, attempts. Yes, but we're all over the Arctic and we're trying to, like the people up there who are going to go up and try and save the narwhals, they'll all have COVID. Uh, so that's. Oh my goodness. That, Does that mean I'm going to get COVID? Yeah, that's our donation oh, for crap. the uh, Save the Narwhals, <laughs> is we're going to spread wildly throughout all of your bodies and uh, we're going to be like all up and on you and in your grill. A any chance you can uh, tell your uh, friends to avoid me? No, Jason. I, I, as just the official spokesman, uh, I can't really um, uh, speak for all um, COVIDs. Basically, I'm just a UN spokesperson, uh, so I'm just oh, giving no. you general information. You know, there's like there's probably 20 trillion of the of the different COVID viruses currently circulating in the Arctic. That's so pretty get, much the the amount of money we need to raise today. So that that's uh, yeah, yeah it's, that's a convenient uh, number. Well, even if you had that kind of money, you can't um, pay COVID because we really don't accept currency. We have, we have Bitcoin to buy transportation when there's when we have run into an obstacle you, like um, you don't have uh, 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 Venmo or Cash App. Uh, well, we do, but like let's say we come up onto a forest fire. Uh, corona can't cross a forest fire very well. Oh no, kidding. So we have to back up, grab a flight, and then fly over the forest fire, land on the other side of the forest fire, and then continue rampaging through us, uh, the rest of society. I must say, uh, Corey, you are a, vi a very strategic... Uh, <laughs> I must have had some of co uh, kimono sake there. <laughs> very strategic uh, uh, virus. Oh, yes. We, uh, we aim to kill everyone. Uh Yes, I, I, I want I want to pass off to my uh, my leader, my dear leader, and oh. uh, we're gonna we're I'm just gonna go right into uh, you, uh, with, you have with, a superior. Yes, I do. Um, he's he's gonna he's gonna speak right now. Oh, hi, Jason. Oh my goodness, it's Bear Soros. Oh my goodness. I own everything, and I've, I'm controlling this virus, Jason. Oh, my goodness. It's Bear Soros. Uh, whatever are we going to do, who is going to save us from Bear Soros? You cannot kill this virus. I I bought it. I own it. And me and Bill Gates are going to kill most of the people in the world. Thank you very much. Oh. You can all thank me. Every one of you can thank me. I'm, I'm George Bear Soros. I run the banks. I run the Federal Reserve. I control currency. I control illness. Oh my so, goodness! Uh, yeah, Soros. So take this. Uh, oh my goodness! Oh whoa whoa! I don't know if we can show that. Uh, um, <laughs> so uh, Bear Soros, uh, uh, while you're uh, terrorizing like, the world, uh, I don't like what you're doing. 
Uh, no, and we don't like what you're doing either, uh, Bear Soros, but, uh, do you have any intentions of saving the narwhals? Screw the narwhals. Oh, I'm my ha- goodness. I'm gonna have narwhal sushi later. Oh, they're gonna I, all- I think there's only one guy that can save us from Bear Soros right now, and or, let's bring no. him in. No, not my nemesis. No. Yeah, hello, Sato. Oh, Komodo, I hate you. Adafiri <laughs> Muto Sato. Komodo, I uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send some army people up there just to, I'm gonna bomb the. the oh, bring them on! Oh, the bring them on! <laughs> kill the narwhals. Uh, I got army of narwhals ready to take you. The nar, I'm gonna have narwhal sushi. I got narwhals with the uh, ninja swords are replaced by their tusks. And then, okay, well, that's not good. I don't really, I don't. Yeah, that will good good for you. I don't, I don't like all this goodness and happiness. I'm gonna, whenever you put that money in that account for the narwhals, I'm gonna steal the money out of the account. Oh, I got lots of money for narwhals. I own all the banks, so I can run out. I'm gonna run that PayPal account dry. Oh, no, 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 try. I, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta run my, my ruinous. Now I'll account very plentiful, uh, very moist with uh, uh, now all dollars. Saki. Uh, I hate you, Komodo. I really. Yes, uh, all right. So I'm, nice I'm, to speak to you, Besoto. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye, you. Oh my human. goodness. <laughs> what a what a conflict those two got going John. jason i don't know it's hard to it's hard to keep them apart <laughs> it is it is i i think they like it <laughs> oh but jason uh j- this is just in uh oh we have another we have she just donated 80 million oh my so. 80 million dollars oh this is a uh an our wall telethon record yeah let's uh let's go right to her she's all right uh, she's ready to Hello, uh, Jason! Queen Elizabeth, your majesty, welcome! Jason, it's so lovely to be here with you. You know, when I was married to Prince Philip, I we had a narwhal. We had, we actually built a big water feature. Oh, no kidding, you have your own water park. We do, and we had a narwhal at our wedding. It was lovely. Oh, my goodness, you had a narwhal at your wedding. Yes, well, when you have the kind of money I have, it's, you, you know, you can have a... Little kids petting uh, zoo, or you can bring narwhal in. You got your own Sea World, uh, your own Royal Sea World going right there. I do, and they like the water cold, so I had to bring in a lot of icebergs and stuff. Oh my goodness! Yes, Jason, um, we have to save wow. the narwhals. And although I sometimes align with George Soros, um, he won't be eating sushi later. I will kill oh, that good. bitch. I will kill that <laughs> bitch. Yeah, you are going to team up uh, with Mister Kimono. Yes, I, I'm sure Komodo's probably going to get to him before I get to him. Cause uh, just... the Quiddy. Uh, hello, Quiddy. Oh, Mr. Komodo. Wow. Oh, yes. Get, uh, every time I hear your voice, I get weak in the knees. You just... Oh, look at it is. Yeah, uh, the I, Komodo I had that effect on the Quiddy. I know. I don't even want to know Philip anymore. And, uh, maybe you can, who? For, can you come over for a gin and tonic later? Who the fitter? You want to come over? Oh yeah, uh, I'm on flight right, flight right now. Oh yeah, well we're gonna make sweet love later. That's for sure. Come on, a senator, yes. I'm loaded on a sake, Quinny. Oh good, that sounds really good. Oh, it sounds like you're gonna have a great time, uh, Your Majesty. Well, we're gonna save the uh, narwhal, then. Uh, then we're yes, gonna save they need our... our help. Yeah, then we're gonna save ourselves with just. Oh Just my goodness! Fine dining and all the other, uh, you know, we're we're getting up there in our ages, so we gotta get with it every time we can. You know? Oh, c- come on, I've gotta get with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> getting jiggy with it. The corgis are dancing with me. Oh, the corgi! Oh, the corgi! Back to you, Jason and Sean. All right. Always a joy to have the Queen with us. Thank you, Queen Elizabeth. Your, your wow, highness. she uh, really helped us out there with that one. So, Jason, I, we've magically uh, come to the end of our wall, narwhal release. Oh, just everyone see the, the phone number just flashed. Uh, right there. What? Show it again. Show it again. Control room. Control. There. Right. Oh, wow. 
It's fast. It is. So, oh yeah. Oh my god. We just we're getting money. Oh my goodness. Let's. Um, uh, I hope our viewers have a good pause button because that's gonna be hard to catch. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna check. Uh. For a second. Uh. Yeah. You, Jason, you start start just reading off the names of everyone who's, who's donated. Oh my goodness. Uh. We have uh, uh Jack Jackson from uh, Jacksonville, uh, Mississippi. Uh. He has donated ten thousand dollars. Oh my God! Yeah, um, we have Phil Fillerson from uh, oh, where was it? Uh, Phillipsburg, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, he has donated. Oh my goodness, one hundred thousand dollars. These are some high hitters. Yes. Yeah. Um, Nelly. Okay, in chat we have Nelly Aphrodite. She just Nelly said, Aphrodite. Uh, okay. She. She uh, she donated uh, two hundred bits. Two hundred bits. Uh, what are I guess that's in bit uh, Bitcoin maybe. Maybe. Um, oh my uh, goodness! Two hundred bitcoins. Somebody named X uh, X Viper Logog, uh, Logog said said you guys are doing a great job. Keep keep it up. Um, Sketchy Unicorn said that since she's a unicorn, she's gonna have to. Put a lot of money into the narwhals. They share that big, uh, oh my goodness, pointy thing on the front. And as she we know, just, the narwhals are the unicorns of the sea, as they say. That's on the right. Internet. So she just donated a couple hundred dollars. Wow. You. Yeah, we're. It, I think we're going to reach our goal, Jason. I really do. I think so, but nobody else is prepared to uh, donate the amount of money that uh, someone is about to donate. Uh oh. Yes. Oh, who, who are we going to? Who are we going? We're going to, to Mr. Kimono right now. Mr. Kimono. Adosha. <laughs> Mr. Kimono, you're so generous, and and I I know secretly, Mr. Kimono, that you have more money than George Soros. Adosha. That's a lie. I have all the money in the world. Adosha. So I, I would have been Soto. Yeah, he's my he lives here with me. He's my roommate. He's he's oh. He's he's just annoying. So sorry but, to um, hear that, Sean. I know that's, it's a hard uh, life. That's it's a really hard is. life uh, living with Bear Soros. Uh, yeah. Did yeah. he uh, lose his castle of doom in New Zealand? No, he still has that. He oh, just okay. finds it entertaining to come here and, and sit in on a Fugazi channel <laughs> and torment uh, Mister Kimono. Yeah. Uh, so no Mr. torment today. Uh, I so drink Mr. a sake. <laughs> <laughs> Mister Kimono. I know you're going to be generous because you are the most, you're, you're really the richest man in the world. Oh, uh, yes. I, I have lots of money to give, lots of yen, but I'm giving it you a dollar today. Okay, well, what is the magic number for you, Mr. Uh, Komodo? The number today, $500 billion. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Five hundred billion for Mr. Take Kimono. that, Soto. <laughs> uh, uh, that that's not good. You're gonna have to take a loan. I, I think you need a loan right now. No, 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 no. no. I I have it money from Gis uh, from Kahono Rentals. Very successful here in Tokyo. I hate you. How do you have five hundred billion? Five hundred. Five hundred billion, you're five hundred billion dollars. You're a monster. I hate you. <laughs> Feeding mutual, Sano. Okay, okay. Uh, sit down, Sorrow. So, okay, I'm gonna go downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Those two okay, have to I, go at it. I don't think uh, we're gonna see Sorrow's the rest of the day. Uh, I don't just think so. I think Kimono best. outbid him. Oh no, he's leaving. His security <laughs> team just came through. They're um, they're heading out to the car. He's going oh. to the airport. He has, he's going to fly his personal jet. Do you know if to, he uh, uh, has found a way to transform back into human form yet? Yeah. Well, no. He uh, he's able to jump in and out of this bear status. Oh. And uh, and so now he's going back to New Zealand. He's going to oh. go back and he's going to re regather himself. <laughs> And trying to defeat Kimono some other day. Oh my goodness! So it's like a, a Facebook relationship status. Uh, George Soros has a uh, currently as a bear. Yeah, yeah, he's he's reincarnated as a bear currently. Currently in a bear ship. Yeah, he is. 
He's such a small human being that yes. he can actually just merge. Oh, he into is a various... small, small man. <laughs> he merges into small stuffed animals quite easily. <laughs> it it sure looks it. <laughs> it's questionable whether or not he is actually a coronavirus. Wow. He might actually be a coronavirus. You know, Sean, I, I think we raised uh, uh, the money to uh, fund that uh, uh, narwhal relief. Narwhal relief. Jason, the, yes. the crews are on their way out. Uh, Mr. Komono is going to be uh, running the whole trip out to the uh, Arctic there to save the narwhals. Nice. And, nice. Uh, yes. And it so sounds like he's going to get a little action with the queen uh, uh, going. Oh, yeah. There. The queen loves him. She's <laughs> going to be, he's he's going to save the narwhals and run off to uh, England for a romp with the queen. Nice. Well, we thank our viewers. We thank uh, everyone that's participated in the telethon today. And there's only one way we can possibly close this out. Do you How know what that? that is, Sean? No. Uh, We've talked about them uh, in private, but we've never had them on the show. It's the Dancing Irish Sheep. Oh, yes. Bring them out. Bring them out. Hey! Wow. That's great, Nice. We love the sheep. <laughs> Love the sheep. So we uh, want to thank everyone for donating. Uh, the chat says uh, you guys are killing it. Monka Shake. Um, they want to know uh, Monster uh, Clip uh, Nice. Seriously clever girls in there. Sesame's in there. Oh. I am Amethyst. Uh, yeah, everyone, thank you so much for giving money. Yes, thank you so much. We uh, uh, Oxide, appreciate uh, it. Oxide 666. Oh, that's not a good Oh, name. my goodness. Uh, that sounds uh, like something Soros would be involved Kitty in. Kitty Cat 420. Kitty Cat 420. Oh. Uh, yeah. And, uh, it's getting yeah, right everyone, into the uh, catnip there. Everyone's giving money. I want to I want to thank everyone well, for that. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, uh, I think that's, that about ends it right there. That's it. So we're going to flash the number one more time. Yes, right there. That. Yeah, that. Oh, oh no. They oh. did it again. What's up? Oh. Did you get Okay, now call that number and give money. Okay, call them, yes. Give it till it hurts. Operators are standing by there. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Fugazi out. Fugazi no kimono sa. Jokaradas no Purudaksu Mite Kuroti Arigato